What's up everyone? I am Jamie with 3littlegoats.com. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Glad to see you. If you've been around for a while, always glad to have you guys back. It is officially my first video of October. I'd like to say happy fall, but if you live in the south, fall means nothing. It is literally still 90 degrees outside. I was outside and I wear Crocs. I'm, I'm not afraid to admit it that I wear Crocs around the house. I wear Crocs outside of the house. But I went outside and I have black Crocs and my feet were still on fire because the sun was just beaming down on them. And I don't wear socks with them because, you know, who wears socks with Crocs? That's ridiculous. But anyway, it's still ridiculously hot outside, but it is fall. I've done some fall themed soaps already with my autumn leaf soap. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to check that out. But today we are going to do an Oktoberfest inspired soap. It is a beer soap. If you've never made beer soap, I also have a video on how to make beer soap as well. So be sure to check that out. And it's just, it's orange and it's got like a little bit of foam looking piping on the top to make it look like the top of beer. I don't drink beer, so I'm not really sure. I think it's called head. Is that what it is when you get the foam and stuff on top of the beer? Let me know in the comments what it's called. I believe it's called head, but... It just sounds wrong. So I'm just going to call it foam. So that is what we are doing today. It's a super simple soap. It smells amazing. The fragrance oil I used played really well with it. It didn't accelerate. And because I put vanilla color stabilizer in it, it didn't discolor it as well. So that's always a plus. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, y'all. So we are going to make some October Fest beer soap today kind of excited about it because the scent that I'm using smells oh so good. So I'm using bourbon pumpkin from Crafter's Choice and then I'm going to split the batch and I'm going to do the main part of the soap and color it with sunset orange mica that I have already mixed with some of the oil from my soap batch and then we're going to do just a white topper with some titanium dioxide. Nothing super fancy but hopefully everything turns out well. I think the battery in my thing is this thingy. Thermometer is starting to go out. I need to replace the battery because it's jumping from like 80 down to 60, down to 70. So it doesn't feel hot to the side. So hopefully we're at a good temperature. I've already got my goat milk and my kale and clay mixed in here. So, let's get started with some soap making. Okay. Without trying to make a bigger mess than I already have made. I've made a huge mess today already. And it's, it's not even lunchtime. So, we are winning today. And I hope the lighting is okay. Because I literally moved everything around in my office. So, I'm hoping everything is still good to go. So, I am using... A beer lye mixture if you've never made a beer soap be sure to check out how to make beer soap video that I did a couple weeks ago it walks you through step by step on everything you need to know about how to make beer soap and if you've never used beer soap oh my god it's one of my favorite soaps to use so I'm just going to add in my lye water solution and I'm just going to bring this to a very very light trace So before I add in my colorant, or my fragrant, I'm going to actually split and batch off and mix in my colors. Just because I've never used this fragrance and I don't want it to be a big old hot mess. And I'm not going to actually add fragrance into the white portion just because it has vanilla in the fragrance oil. And I don't mind if it's not pure white, but I want it to be somewhat white. I did add vanilla color stabilizer to my fragrance as well to help mitigate some of the browning. So I'm going to try to keep this as true color as possible. Well the color I want it to be at least. So I'm just going to mix it in and Oh, my God. 
Alrighty, move some of my junk out of the way. And then I'm going to add in my fragrance and my vanilla color stabilizer. And I'm going to mix this in by hand as well. Alright, so I'm going to add this into the mold. very large batch today. Well, not super large, but larger than what I would normally make for this mold so I can have it kind of give it that frosty beer effect with the foam on the top. It's not going to be super fancy. Y'all know I don't do super fancy. I don't do well with piping or any of that stuff. So I try to keep it simple, but snazz it up just a little bit. While making, a, oh my gosh, so much soap everywhere. How do I make such a big mess in such a little time frame? All right. Because this is starting to thicken up quite a lot. And I know my white is probably really thick right now. I'm just going to use my spoon even this out as much as possible. Get it down into those corners. And just scrape it up onto the top. Right down some of my edge. Trying to work quickly here, but never do. It's just been one of those days. So, fun fact, I thought I had bought piping bags, but I didn't. So we're going to improvise. I said I wasn't going to pipe the top of this, but this soap is a pretty good piping consistency, so I figured why not make my life a little bit easier and just pipe it on. But I can't find my piping bags. So, zip black baggie to the rescue. Sometimes we gotta improvise, right? And I'm not piping pretty dollops. I just wanted to give it like that foamy looking appearance that you find on top of beer. I don't drink beer, so I'm just kind of Going with whatever. Just going with the flow. To kind of make it look less wormy on the top, I'm just going to take a pop or a. What are these things called? A skewer? Yes, a skewer. To just kind of give it a little bit more of a foamy looking texture. this a good spritzing with some rubbing alcohol and I'll come back probably in about an hour and give it another spritz and we will be back in about 24 hours to cut this soap open so I will see you then <clears throat> all right y'all so it has been 24 hours and now it is time to cut the soap now I do know that my thermometer definitely needs new batteries because my soap heated up really bad and I can already tell that I have a partial gel going on so we will have to fix that after we cut it. And I have a video, no, oh, excuse me, I am losing my voice today, but I do have a video showing how to fix a partial gel if you do come across that problem. So just one little extra step, no biggie, we can fix it. Let's give this a cut. Okay. Um, it actually isn't too bad. It's just 
right at the corner. So that'll be a pretty easy fix. With I probably will use my heat gun, but because it did overheat, I did get a little bit of glycerin rivers, but I actually don't really mind it since this is supposed to look kind of like the foam on a beer anyway. So not too shabby at all. Okay, so I just hit it with the heat gun real quick and you can already tell that that partial gel is starting to disappear a little bit. I'm gonna let this side cool. Like the end piece, end piece was really, really bad. I haven't really done much with that just because I wanted to leave an example of how bad it actually was with the partial gel. So I just took my heat gun and I just constantly moved it around. You don't want to leave it in one place too long because you'll end up burning your soap or turning it into a big jelly mess. But for more information on how to fix partial gel, be sure to check out that video. I will link that down in the description box. And I'm going to continue to do this and do the other side real quick and I will see you guys at the outro. So that is what I have got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We put out new videos every week. I try to put out new videos every week. We're kind of starting the process of getting the house listed on the market to put up for sale, which is really, really sad. So if you had noticed, Things are starting to disappear from my background because I've started to pack some stuff away in preparation for that to try to get the house more show ready. I used to be a real estate agent, so I kind of know what I need to do. It's been a while. I know what I need to do. I just, I don't want to do it. I don't want to move. I don't want to sell my house, but that's life for you. It is what it is, so we must move on. So anyways, that is the video for today this week and probably hopefully next week I'm going to start with some more fall inspired soaps but we're going to start moving more into the holidays and doing some holiday inspired soaps as well as some DIY gifts that you can do as well to give out for the holidays. I want to start putting those out a little bit before Christmas and stuff before like the holiday madness really kicks in that way if you do want to do some homemade gifts that gives you ample time to actually get them done to give away as gifts. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.